welcome Tauruses. this is your um um business career and money reading for the year 2022 i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back all right if this is your uh, first time please like and share 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 and subscribe to this channel in order for you guys to see what is coming out what is going to be affecting your money situation as you get to the year 2022 um, okay um let's first see what is in your diamond shape because this is a money reading so in your diamond shape i see um jupiter is in capricorn judgment call for a corporation so it's as if you tourist um business or corporation there was something um, that you Taurus has done against a Capricorn in a corporation and a Capricorn is going to be standing up and alerting a corporation of what has been transpiring and truth is going to be coming out because a Virgo and a Scorpion they're going to be recognizing a judgment call is coming down on a Virgo and a Scorpion they're now going to be recognizing the whole other data and information that the Virgo and a Scorpion have so Taurus is who um, are going to be dealing with Capricorn people, um, these Capricorn people could be helping you or working against you, but they are, this is a um, Capricorn in um, Jupiter. So I see a Capricorn is going to be overcoming um, problematic situation that was happening, okay? Then swiftness, and the swiftness is the eight of ones, and there is some sort of a judgment call that is going to be coming down on a Sagittarian. Now, um, Capricorns that is, um, Taurus is that is working with a, a Sagittarian. Um, whenever the eight of ones comes up, this is like um, this um, uh, Sagittarian is going to start to communicate and giving up a lot of data and information about a Pisces and a Cancer. So I see Tower, a Pisces and a Cancer is going to be fired, okay? Um, so whatever is going on, um, a Sagittarian is going to be t giving you a whole lot of uh, information about a Pisces and a Cancer. And you, Taurus, is, is going to be recognizing the truth and seeing the truth of who a Pisces and a Cancer is. So major, major situation is going to be applying in uh, the month of uh, uh, July 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 and, uh, and 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 October July and October is going to be significant month for you guys so write this down because uh, um a whole lot of information is going to be coming out about the working of a Pisces and a Libra in the month of uh, July and August truths are now going to be really revealing about a Pisces and a Libran in a corporation institution, okay? And um, this energy is the energy of the hermit, and the hermit is shedding a whole lot of light and data because a Sagittarian is now going to be showing up um, a whole lot of details and information about a Cancer and a Pisces. So this is a year where Sagittarian could be helping you Tauruses to resolve some sort of a situation, but they're now... Also, at the end of the year, is going to be recognizing the dishonorable play of a Sagittarian that is in some sort of a, um, a government institution organization. They're now going to be recognizing what the Sagittarian woman has done, and they're going to be seeing deceptiveness of this person. But at the end of the year, peace is going to be coming in where this is going to be going wow so there is a lot that is going on let's get in this reading this we look at uh, um the first six months january till march uh april till um june july till september october till december so these are three the daily of the year all right let's look at january january is very positive new start new work new business new function new situation is going to be coming up it looks good tauruses so um tauruses you can expect that january is going to be a new start to be your financial situation um some of you could be changing jobs and then and getting uh, 
salary increase in January, that sort of a thing, um, a new start with a new job um, position. So that is going to be good. So um, business, uh, you could be getting new a business offer in the month of January. So this is positive. You can't go wrong as you start this year with uh, um, new storage with the and especially whenever the ace of ones comes up in a reading a business reading and it is upright it is very very positive in the month of and in your house so uh, in the month of february february is the energy of the four of swords and some sort of a details and information is coming out in a february okay whatever this details and information is it's coming out about a pisces cancer scorpion man or oh, and uh, this is a situation where a lot of you Tauruses are going to be recognizing who this person is because some sort of a documentation or communication this is more about communication because it's a four of sword is going to be coming out about a Pisces cancer scorpion man and how this man had accumulated some sort of a documentation okay so that is going to be transpiring in the month of February but this information that is coming in you Tauruses are going to be happy to gain this information about the Pisces cancer scorpion man because it's going to be helping you to resolve some sort of a problematic situation um, with your work business or career okay in the month of March another positive energy month of March is going to be good for you guys also so uh, month of March is about uh, um the making decision and whatever the decision that you make in the month of march is going to be the right decision because whatever the information that came in about this uh, um a pisces cancer scorpion person or whoever this person is is going to be uh, uh, good for you to make the right decision in march and the decision that you make in march is going to be the correct decision so march is looking good another thing is that um i see a lot of you in the month of march is going to be helping a capricorn to get back on their feet because you are now going to be recognizing that a pisces cancer scorpion man an ex boss could have been blocking a capricorn for a very very long time and you're going to be getting details and information about this because whatever the information that you get in the month of february is going to make you make some sort of a decision in uh, the uh, moving forward and this is going to be a correct decision because uh, um, information is going to be coming out because this is the energy of a judgment call judgment calls about breakthroughs a lot of breakthroughs is going to be coming out and the breakthroughs has to do with uh, um, the Capricorn, Sagittarian, Pisces, and the Virgos and Scorpion. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with these people and they're in the center. Now, so the first three months is going to be very, very good. And I see a Capricorn is going to be helping you in the month of March to uh, make the right decision. As we look at April, April has the energy of the Pisces Cancer Scorpion Man. And I see in the month of April, you of Tauruses are going to be letting this man know that you are not moving forward with him. All right, it is a situation that you guys are going to be recognizing that this man has created a whole lot of problematic situation with you and your business or around your business. And I see that you are going to be um, showing this up um, that this man has created a whole lot of problematic situation for your business. So um, you are going to be releasing and uh, ending some sort of a contractual agreement um, that a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person have because you recognize that this person is not vibrating in uh, the correct uh, um, way. Okay, so I see um, it could be that you're uh, moving people from um, you know, reducing costs and you're going to be um, removing the last person who came in and is a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person, okay? In the month of May, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is as if um, a lot of you are going to be um, getting um, to your customer or this person. This person could be a partner that is buying out of a company or this person, a lot of you, um, this person could... 
have to be paying you Taurus back uh, for some sort of a damage or paying some sort of a debit that they hold to you okay so I see money is going to be going to the bank in the month of May and this is going to be good it looks good when it comes up to your money uh, situation so new start to your money is going to be coming in Tauruses and uh, um, this is going to be helping your business or helping your corporation or helping you to push forward and make the right decision. So um, the Ace of Pentacles is always good. It, and this is going to the um, the bank. This is uh, a situation that is going to be keeping you afloat. So um, you could have applied for some sort of a financial aid or that sort of a thing. It's going to come in in May. Then in the month of June, a Sagittarian is going to be alerting you, Tauruses, about a Pisces and a Scorpion. So um, some sort of a breakthrough information is going to be coming out about a Scorpion and a Cancer in the month of um uh in the month of uh, June. So a whole lot. June is going to be that uh, data and information or communication about a Pisces Cancer Scorpion, a Sagittarian is going to be giving you and alerting you um, that yes, um, that, that it is true. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, yes, it is true. And um, this documentation and situation, so I see a lot of uh, you Tauruses is going to be working in alignment with a Sagittarian to rebalance a problematic situation that was created because a judgment call is going to be coming down on a Cancer and a Pisces and people are not going to be recognizing what a Cancer and a Pisces have done. A judgment call is also going to be coming down on a Virgo and a Scorpion and they're going to be getting a lot of, um, it's like documentation and information uh, work because it's about uh, a slowdown that is going to be happening and a lot of you um, are going to be firing or getting rid of a Cancer and a Pisces and a Virgo and a Scorpion. So you see the problem is that these are major people that you're going to be dealing with because a lot of breakthroughs and some sort of a slowdown is going to be happening if you have a business. So be aware of this. So the second um, quarter is looking at a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man and a whole lot of money that he could have paid a Sagittarian to do something that was not above water. And I see that a Sagittarian is going to be advising you Tauruses of who the Pisces Cancer Scorpion man is and what he has done because it can be a man or a woman what this person have done and that this person paid a whole lot of money to get some sort of a documentation and information and it is going to be all coming out so be aware as we move um to the next half year the next half year is showing up uh, judgment so here a Sagittarian gave a lot of information and this judgment call, this energy of this judgment and breakthrough and this breakthrough and this information that is coming out is about a Cancer and a Pisces. So in the month of July, a whole lot of information is coming out because this is the energy of the Engman and this is the energy of uh, July has to do with uh, a Libran could be giving out a lot of information and is um, sharing information with a Sagittarian um, through communication. They're going to be finding out a lot of details about a Pisces and a Libran. Okay, so a Pisces and a Libran could have collaborated and did and worked together on some sort of a project or did something and it's going to be coming out in the month of July. Okay. Um, then when we look at the month of August, the month of August, a lot of you are dealing with the Prince of Cup. The Prince of Cups is someone between the age of 18 and 35. Now, whoever this Prince of Cups is, um, this Prince of Cups could be coming up as a, a Pisces or a Cancer. And whatever is coming out about this Prince of Cups, people are going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian was behind a problematic situation because they're they're finding documentation and details a judgment call a breakthrough and getting to the bottom of a situation about who a young um pisces cancer scorpion person is this this person is uh, um between the ages of 20 18 and uh, 
45, 18 and 45, and this person is between the age of 35 and 50. So there are some sort of a problematic situation where this person that could be from another um, um, another um, background or religious or whatever have done something to this younger person and this person had paid money to get some sort of a documentation and details of this younger person. This younger person is like 18 to, yeah, 40, 18 to 40. And this person is 40, between 40 and 50, had paid a Sagittarian because the Sagittarian start to talk and give data and information that this person was the one who paid to get some sort of a documentation and details of this person, okay? In the month of September, they're now looking at a Sagittarian woman. Whether this person is Aries Lee or a Sagittarian woman, they're looking at this woman because they recognize that this woman created a fraud and is trying to balance out the situation. And you Tauruses is now going to be recognizing that this person is trying, the Sagittarian woman is trying to patch up a situation for you not to see that this person had created a fraud. So this person came to you in the month of June and is going to be saying, hey, here is the details and information I can show you that an older Pisces Cancer Scorpion person was the one who paid me to get some sort of a documentation and information. Because the Sagittarian woman is speaking and you can see her coming back in the month of September when you're going to be confronting this woman that she created a fraud. And she is now trying to bring peace and balance in it because you Tauruses have been either connected or caught up in this situation. So whatever has happened and transpired, I see a Capricorn person um, a, a, a break through and gave data and information about a, a Scorpion and a Virgo. And you Tauruses has been um, getting to the bottom of a situation about a um, Virgo and a Scorpion because a Capricorn person gave up a whole lot of information about a Virgo and a Scorpion. So the problem is that this this um, Sagittarian woman is a Pisces Cancer, is Pi as um, a Aries or Sagittarian, but it's coming up as a Sagittarian woman that in the month of September, you're going to be having problems with because you're going to be recognizing Tauruses that this woman created a fraud and was using you to balance it out, okay? As we look at the month of October, October um, is a situation where managers and people in authority start to look at a, a Virgo and a Scorpion. So they're now going to be recognizing that the Virgo businessman had manipulated a situation and this Virgo businessman is trying to work with you Tauruses uh, to resolve the situation because they recognize uh, because a Capricorn showed up a Virgo businessman um, in a corporation and showed up what this Virgo businessman has done to a young Capri a young a young um, a young man. It's coming up. Whoever this young man is, it can be a Scorpion young man, and they're not recognizing the problematic situation that a Virgo has basically worked together with a Sagittarian um, to use a Scorpion. Okay, and they're now recognizing the old network. So here in the house of boss, corporation, manager, business, they're going to be recognizing because, uh, you know, people are going to be really, managers are really, because this is in the house of career. And you, Taurus, is your career is on the line because of a Virgo and a Scorpion, okay? In the month of November, they're going to be recognizing that there was a whole lot of secrecy um in uh, secrecy um with co-workers a whole lot of secrecy in co-workers a whole lot of secrecy um that a um Aries or Sagittarian person have they're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian woman created a fraud and was trying to put a band-aid on it and you Tauruses is now going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian woman have defraud a scorpion young scorpion and used a young scorpion um, to create and, and, and deviate a situation. So now they're going to be recognizing it. So I see, um, news is the news that is going to be coming out. 
Um, and before we look at that, so there are now in November, you're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian was the one who created a fraud and used your Tauruses, um, to, um, you know, to cover up this fraud. Okay. So watch the extended to see what is going to come up. But November is not a good month because you're going to be finding out that Aquarians, Aquarians together with a Sagittarian did something and created some sort of a fraud. In the month of December, peace is coming in because the secrecy is going to be coming out. And I see a Libran is going to be giving out the secrecy of what was happening and transpiring. And a Libran is going to be alerting the manager of the fraud that an Aquarian had created. And how a, um, you know, a manager created a fraud. And this uh, um, Libran is going to be giving up um either you Tauruses or a Libran um or a Sagittarian because the Sagittarians start to communicate in the month of uh, um June but this this person start to communicate because they want they are recognized that they were in some huge problems okay all right so let's break this uh um break this down so um in the house of uh, you starting your home business, anything, it is going to be a yes, go for it, okay? A new start, the ace of one, a new start is going to be coming up for you guys. In the first house, yes, go for it. In the second house, a lot of business is going to be coming in and uh, um, money. And I see a lot of you are going to be signing some sort of a documentation and agreement in the, the month of February. Your house is looking good because... Uh, um, documentation and agreement is going to be bringing in uh, monies and, and 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 that is a four of swords and the four of swords is that you Tauruses could be winning a lawsuit against a Pisces cancer or scorpion person um because this Pisces cancer or scorpion person has brought you or your business or um a business associate in problem this is a Pisces cancer scorpion um, business person from another city or another state and they have to pay you for damages towards your business because they had paid a Sagittarian to get some sort of a documentation and then it backfired on you Tauruses okay when we look at the third house anything to do with groups of people anything on internet and that sort of a thing it is going to be a success so um, that is going to be good. And I see a lot of you Tauruses is going to be working in a collaboration um, to make sure that a Capricorn business is a success because you recognize uh, um, that the Pisces ex-coworker or ex-boss was creating a lot of problems for a Capricorn person. And you took this person on and it's going to give this person a new start. And this is going to be good because this person is going to be alerting you and showing you a lot of stuff that you were not aware of. Then when we look at the fourth house, the fourth house is that you, you are dealing with a cancer man. And you, Tauruses, is going to be recognizing that this cancer man is either from another city, another state, or whatever. But this cancer man was very dishonest. This cancer man was the ex-boss of a Capricorn. And this cancer man used you, um, Tauruses, along with a Sagittarian, to create some sort of a problem to block a Capricorn from moving forward. And you, Taurus, this is going to be recognizing that the Spices Cancer Scorpion man have done this before. This man is a really dishonorable man. This man pay um, you to get you to get some sort of a documentation information and created a lot of problematic situation for a Capricorn person when this Capricorn person has not done anything. This man was working on his ego and used you and your company to create a whole lot of problematic situation and paid a Sagittarian person to get a lot of documentation and information. And you're going to be taking down this man and is going to be um, pulling out a legal suit on this man because a Sagittarian is going to give you documentation that this man had paid a Sagittarian to get some sort of a documents on a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. And it is all going to be coming out because you Tauruses are going to be opening up some sort of a legal suit against the spicy cancer scorpion man because you recognize that this cancer man, because it's in the house of the cancer, you Tauruses are now recognizing that this cancer man 
um, have used you all and created a great problems that you're in now. The house, the fifth house is that they're now going to be looking at co-workers and recognizing that a lot of co-workers was paid underneath the table to create, um, to create chaos, um, for a situation. And a cancer man was the one that paid a lot of co-workers and paid a Leo, um, to create a problematic situation and took a whole lot of money. This is coming out. When we look at the se the six house, the six house is that a Sagittarian and a Virgo, and this is it. I told you guys that Sagittarian and Virgo did something, some sort of a documentation Sagittarian and Virgo created. A judgment call is coming out because a, a Capricorn is aware of that. A Sagittarian and a Virgo had collaborate, and now the Sagittarian is speaking up and throwing the Virgo under the bus because the Sagittarian recognized that this is a problem that is going to be causing her her career her name and her job so what the Sagittarians start to do is to give details and said listen this cancer man had paid me um um to get documentation to give to this Virgo so it was the working of a Sagittarian and a Virgo and this Sagittarian woman is going to be saying hey uh Taurus uh, this is a document this um Cancer man paid me to get these documents here. I can give you this document to win a lawsuit. Because if you Tauruses win this lawsuit or win this problem, then this um woman is going to get away from the fraud that she has created. So this this um the Sagittarian is now flipping and is bringing out some sort of a uh, information. But the, the the Capricorn person is telling you that listen. The Sagittarian was paid by the Cancer. The Cancer is from another state, another country. The Cancer is the one who has been running the money and paying co-workers and people to get data and information. And the Sagittarian was paid to get data and information for a Capricorn. And this Capricorn recognized it and said, Taurus is, you got to get to this Cancer because this Cancer was the one who paid the money to get the data and information. So here, as we move in, into July, July, a Pisces and a Libran is going to be giving up the Sagittarian. A Pisces and a Libran is going to be collaborating and saying, hey, we are in big problem. The Sagittarian threw us under the bus. So we are going to be giving up the Sagittarian. So a Pisces and a Libran is going to be giving up a Sagittarian in the month of July. In the month of August, um, there is a young Pisces Cancer a Scorpion. It's coming up as a young Scorpion. They're going to be recognizing how much people have defrauded a young Scorpion. And they're now going to be recognizing that a Virgo and a Sagittarian, along with a Pisces, had basically used a Scorpion and paid the Scorpion less or sabotaged the Scorpion business and defraud the scorpion out of a lot of money. And it's a young person. This person is between the ages of 18 and 40. And they're not going to be seeing the truth. And then the Sagittarian now, because the Sagittarian is, is, is um, I said this woman is not, is very dis, disturbed. Okay. Because in, in September, you're going to be recognizing that this woman was hiding behind something and was trying to push a scorpion young man and saying, you know, a scorpion young man is the one who had access to these documents. But people are going to be recognizing, no, no, no. This woman created a fraud and is using a scorpion to um, fall for the fraud that she has created. So when we get to the, the energy of your managers and managers, Tauruses, um, you are going to be, if you're a manager, you're not going to be recognizing that uh, um, in the month of June, a Sagittarian give you um, documentation and information and said that, you know, a cancer man from another state or another country had paid for this documentation. But now, if you're a manager, you're going to be looking good at the situation and it's really going to recognize that a fraud was created and a Sagittarian created the fraud and was using a scorpion and a young scorpion and throwing a scor young scorpion out in the wall to say that the young scorpion was the one who did it. So um, when we get to the house of uh, uh, reputation, I see that uh, 
you're going to be recognizing that a Capricorn that you have been working against for a very long time is the same Capricorn that is going to help you Tauruses to resolve the situation because this Capricorn is going to be saying hello in because this is the house of the Capricorn Tauruses and this Capricorn is going to be saying hello Tauruses manager or boss supervisor don't you recognize that the Sagittarian um, release a lot of document and information and gave it to you because the Sagittarian is the one that created a fraud and was trying to hide it. So the Sagittarian um, created the fraud and then is giving up a, 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 um, a cancer man from another country or another place and saying this cancer man paid her to give up the documentation, but uh, the woman created a fraud. So a lot of you Taurus is, is going to be saying, whoa, Cap Capricorn, I never see it like that. So a lot of you Taurus is, is going to be thankful for the Capricorn to show you that the Sagittarian was the one who created a fraud because someone can pay you for something, but you don't have to give the information. So Taurus is, you're going to be recognizing, okay, so that's why the Sagittarian gave me so much information in June and was trying to push um, a scorpion and saying that the young scorpion was the one that created the fraud and she was the one that created the fraud. Oh my God. So you Tauruses as manager is going to be recognizing that whoever the Sagittarian is, whether it's a supervisor or a business person or a, um, a lighting game, had created a fraud and got money and was paid by a cancer man from another country or another place and um um gave you the details and information but then she she knows that they're on to her and was trying to use a young scorpion to get a fall for her and i see that you tauruses is going to be turning around and in the month of november you're going to be calling out the sagittarian for the fraud um that she has done and trying to to um, throw a young scorpion underneath the table saying that a young scorpion has done it. So Tauruses, you are now recognizing because the Capricorn is like Tauruses, aren't you seeing what is being played in front of you? If you notice, this is about breakthrough, judgment call because this Sagittarian is, this is about Mercury and Sagittarian. So Sagittarian is communicating and saying, oh Tauruses, you know, um, this man paid me. But yes, this man paid you, but you don't have to give this man the information of this young scorpion. Okay, so she did a fraud, but is saying coming to you in the month of June. And in the month of uh, um, um, July, you're going to be, because this is like a authority and more people are not recognizing that, no, the Sagittarian did the fraud. The Sagittarian did the fraud and defraud this young scorpion and use this young scorpion and defraud this young scorpion and now it's throwing you Tauruses under the bus and this young scorpion and you're going to be bringing peace to the situation because you're going to be resolving a situation with the Pisces and a Pisces is going to be working in collaboration a Libran and a Pisces because here's the Libran and the Pisces here's the Libran and the Pisces secrets okay so a Libra and a Pisces is going to be helping you Tauruses to show you Tauruses that the Sagittarian was the one that created the fraud. Oh my God. So um, what a um, really devastated situation. But if you guys is aware of what is going to be coming up. So um, come back each month to look at what is going to transpire because in the month of November is when you... Um, the Taurus is going to be pulling down on the Sagittarian woman and said, no, you did the fraud and you're trying to get out of it. And you throw myself and the young scorpion under the bus. And I see peace is going to be coming in because a Libra and a Pisces is going to be showing up the Sagittarian that she is the one that created the fraud because she also threw them on the, the bus. And they're going to be saying, um, the documents that we had, a Pisces and a Libran in the month of July is going to say the documents that we had. It was a Sagittarian woman who gave us the documents that we have. And in the month of December, again, we come with the Librans and the Pisces. It's going to be helping you Tauruses to resolve a fraud that a Sagittarian had created and tried to throw you and a young scorpion under the bus. 
Taurus is follow us to the other side to see how this is going to be coming out. Use the join button and take the third subscription. I'm saying namaste. Until next time, see you in the other side.